Hello. Welcome to Theosophy in Wales. I'm Dave Marsland. The Philosopher's Stone, a Theosophical View. Um, well, traditionally, the Philosopher's Stone is um, an alchemical concept um, and it represents a legendary substance which alchemists of the Middle Ages uh, claimed could convert base metals into gold by a chemical process. It's also said to be the elixir of life, um, live forever or your money back. And alchemists believed that the quest for the Philosopher's Stone was accompanied by personal transformation and it would also make you ex extremely rich. Um, the concept of the Philosopher's Stone is said to go back a very long way beyond the Middle Ages and um, possibly back to ancient Egypt but the, um, the idea has been around for eons, it's been for ages. Um, now to a Theosophist the Philosopher's Stone represents the vision of reality which comes when the base metals of basic desire or emotion are transformed into the gold of spiritual enlightenment. So we take in theosophy the personal transformation idea. Now I'll say a little bit about the, the chemical idea of base metals to gold. Um, in modern times, um, atomic research is changing our perception of reality. It's in that, well, that is a form of transformation. Um, and we have the, um, the periodic table, which I believe is um, evidence of cosmic ideation, is that the universe is working to a plan from a higher consciousness, that the periodic table didn't just happen. It, it's, it's part of a, an overall scheme. Uh, representing a consciousness behind the universe and, and a plan. Um, now, nuclear transmutation in a particle accelerator can turn lead into gold. Um, this is not a chemical process, so again we've moved on from the, the alchemist's idea, but it is actually possible. Um, but uh, not easy to make any money out of it. Um, I under, as I understand it, it um, requires eight tons of lead to produce one pound of gold. And the gold, is, I think, is probably radioactive. Uh, although I think it can be decontaminated. I think it comes out. The, the gold comes out radioactive. Um, so um, that's a, it's a lot of effort for the pound of gold. And uh, particle ac accelerators um, are not cheap. Um, so, but the, the technology is there. It, it's, um, we can turn base metals into gold. Um, at the same time, our um, knowledge of um, subatomic physics and that is, is pushing back the, the boundaries of knowledge and our um, understanding of the nature of reality. Um, it's certainly in the scientific um, point of view, not, not the spiritual. This is that's purely scientific at the moment. Um, now the other side of it, um, the elixir of life, a process to slow down ageing. I think that some chemical process to slow down ageing will be available um, for people that are alive now. It, it isn't that far off. I, I think it is coming. So that's a, that the other side of it. Yes, I think that's, that's easily possible. So there we are. We just can live. Uh, don't know. Um, when it's going to come in, but I think some of us can expect to live a lot longer.